Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm making a bento for my daughter and my wife. Today's main dish is sweet and sour fish. First, I'm gonna make a rice for one cup and a half. Usually, I cook one cup, but today I'm making a fried rice, so I'm making a little bit more. First, I'm gonna cook butter rice for、uh, octopus fried rice. Add salted butter, we call it butter, and salt, which is shio, and put it into rice maker. Now I'm going to make a sweet egg omelet. We call it tamagoyaki. Add two eggs, we call it tamago, and brown sugar, which is soseto. And add some milk, which is gyunyu. I'm going to use rice oil, which is kome abura, and mix well. And add one third of egg mixture. Mix a little bit and roll over. And add another one third of egg mixture and flip over. At the end, I put everything and this is done. I just、uh, cook the both s i d e of omelet and done. I put in the kitchen paper to take out、uh, any extra moisture. So, this is the fish that I'm going to use for sweet and sour fish. This is rock fish. We call it kasago. Um, I've already get the, all the scales off and got the fish. I got this fish four days ago and I put this fish in the fridge for four days on purpose. I kind of age the fish. Age m e a n like, you know, when you go to a nice steak restaurant, they have this aged beef for like 30 days and stuff like that. I age this fish for like four days. So, some fish are suitable for aging and some fish are not. Some fish are, it's better if you eat right away, it would taste better. But for this rock fish, I think it's better to age it a little bit. Also, these, those fish that are suitable for aging, those fish need to be ikejime. Have you heard of ikejime before? This is the, some fishermen use to keep the fish in special condition. What they do is they paralyze the fish and drain the blood out of fish when they catch it. So, we can get this type of fish when you go to the、like、supermarket sometimes. You can get it at the fish market. For my case, I get it directly from fishermen. Now, I'm going to wash the fish using、uh, salted water. The reason I put salt in the water is to avoid the fish to observe the water. I just clean the fish, taking out all the leftover scales and stuff like that, and using kitchen paper to take out any excess water. And they are done. Now I'm going to just remove the、uh, pin bones、uh, from the fish using these、uh, tweezers. I'm also going to take off the skin. You can leave it on, you can take it out, doesn't matter. But I feel like taking off, so I took off the skin out of fish. They are ready. I'm going to cut some vegetables for、uh, sweet and sour fish. This is colored pepper, we call it kara piman, and onion, we call it tamanegi. 
I will add these vegetables into sweet and sour fish. Now I'm going to make a sweet and sour sauce. Add rice wine, which is sake or nihonshu. Also add rice vinegar, we call it komezu. And add soy sauce, which is shoyu. And ketchup, we call it ketchup. And sweet rice wine, which is honmirin. And brown sugar, which is soseto. And mix a little bit. And add potato starch, which is katakuriko. And potato starch will thicken the sauce quickly. I'm going to cover the fish with the potato starch. This will help the fish become crispy. Also, the sauce will stick to the fish better. I'm using the rice oil here. Saute the fish. Wait until they become crispy and flip over. You don't need to cook the fish completely here. I will cook the fish again with the sauce later. I will just stir fry the vegetables. Stir fry a little bit and then put back the fish and add the sweet and sour sauce. Because I added potato starch into the sauce, it will thicken right away. You can, uh, if you don't add potato starch, you can make the same condition if you boil the sauce uh, for a long time. But I don't want to overcook the fish and vegetables, so I put the potato starch. And fish are done. So now this is raw octopus. We call it namadako. I'm going to make uh, uh, octopus fried rice. I'm going to just cut them into small pieces. This octopus is from last night. This just left over. Uh, we made a takoyaki last night. Takoyaki is like a little Japanese snack with uh, octopus in it. Okay, this is Japanese leek. We call it naganegi. And just slice. And this is Maitake mushroom. Add rice oil. Add the Japanese leek and maitake mushroom. And stir fry a little bit. And add octopus. Add some salt, which is shio. And rice is ready, nice and fluffy. And add them directly into the pan and make uh, fried rice. Add some soy sauce, which is shoyu. And they are done. I'm going to put this rice into this container today because this will keep the rice warm. Because octopus will get hard once it gets cold. So for my daughter, I just used a different container. Okay, I'm going to cut the tamagoyaki. Now everything is ready. I'm going to put them into a bento box. If you can get access to octopus or squid, uh, try to make this fried rice.
This rice is made with butter. So butter and soy sauce are best friends. You know, when you just stir fry the octopus or um, squid, just use the butter and soy sauce. They are very good. Okay, they are ready. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy today's video. I hope you give a try. Uh, if you can get fillet fish from the store, it shouldn't be difficult to make a sweet and sour fish. Also, you can make it with the shrimp. You can make it with uh, chicken, sweet and sour chicken. It's the same thing. Uh, sweet and sour pork, it's the same sauce. So keep a try and let me know if you have any question. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.